Hey you guys, it's me, Nick McGee, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build your own DSLR helmet cam. So here it is. This is the finished product of the helmet cam, minus the PVC glue. We didn't want to do that just yet, me and my buddy uh, who built this with me. Um, we basically put this together with three screws on each side of the baseball helmet, which is the first material you would need if you're going to do um, a design that looks like this. I've seen other designs that you can use any standard... Um, uh, you know, bicycle helmet or skateboarding helmet, you just get a metal bar that basically goes down the side here. But the only catch with that is the camera is upside down, and that's something I don't want to risk. What I did to counter that thought was basically build um, kind of a rig that has it so the camera is sitting upright, obviously, because that just makes more sense. Like, I don't want my camera upside down, it's a big investment, and I don't want to lose it. So, for this part, basically, uh, this weight on the end, uh, probably gonna have it more than just duct tape down, but eventually you could probably just put a nice long like screw coming out of it and just put it on there. So you could just attach that really nicely, but that's just to counter the weight of the camera. And as of right now, this part is still kind of loose, and that actually works in our favor because you could just plant the camera on there and just put it up to the perfect eye level. Um, but I don't, I need to glue this yet just because. Um, when the camera's on there, if you're looking down, it can fall, and that's something I don't want to risk. Essentially, this is how we start. We put just a connector in the back, screw that in, and that's what we built off of. So, uh, currently, we have a couple, you know, like three or four inch long, uh, you know, one inch PVC that goes outwards um, to make a 90 degree angle, which is where the second connectors come in handy, and you connect those. And basically, you do the same thing all the way until here, except the 90 degree angle is going downward. And that's another you know, five or six inches. I don't know. Um, don't remember the exact measurements. We're kind of just we're winging it. <laughs> but when we had it there, we screwed that in, screw one in the back, and screw one in the side. So that made it so this is very sturdy, actually. Like it's really connected onto the helmet. And uh, the baseball helmet. I had from when I was in like seventh grade, so I mean you can go out though and get this at any sporting store for uh, I think this is thirty dollars. So I mean it might be cheaper, it might be more expensive uh, today. I'm not sure. So that's essentially the first part of the design, and then the second part is we got another ninety degree going down, and then another ninety degree going this way. So the main thing you're gonna want to do if you're gonna do a design that looks like this, you're gonna need a lot of ninety degree connectors. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight in total. Um, just basically, you're gonna. Boof, boof, boof. So I mean, it all fits in nicely, and you don't have to worry about you know weird measurements because it's all like 90 degree angles, and it's all just very symmetric. Then we decided to just go right for the 90 degrees, the basic design. Uh, it is a little more heavy than just having a metal strip that other people have done, but I find this to be just much more safe. Moving on to the last part of this, uh, the bottom portion. Uh, again, you just have a uh, 90 degree here with a small bit of one inch PVC uh, to connect these two 90 degree angle uh, PVC connectors. And then you get a couple of these uh, just standard, I guess, 180, just like, uh, you know, flat connectors. And you just, you have to make, a, you know, pretty small PVC just to fit just barely in there. As you can see, it's actually you know, there's nothing, no PVC showing at all, so we cut it pretty close there. And then lastly, we have this uh, cross-connecting PVC that was, uh, I think, an inch on this side and then three-fourths on this side, which per perfectly held in this, uh, you know, tripod, uh, basically. Um, and I don't know where I got this, I just found it from, you know, a box of camera stuff that I had. But um, if you wanted to, you could easily make your own platform. Um, you just get a nice metal piece, screw it in with a one fourth inch um, screw. That's what all I think that's what most DSLR cameras and cameras for that matter uh, in the U.S. have for the part that screws into the camera itself. So you could easily make your own one of these, but I actually would recommend going out and getting uh, you know your own uh, tripod platform just to be safe. But other than that, that's the basic design of this uh, helmet cam. All you really need at the end is just a counterweight. And you're all set. So essentially, all you need a connector in the back and just build off the helmet basically. You just want to keep making right angles 
until it fits your liking. And then we'll glue this down, probably end up gluing them all together because, you know, I have a very expensive camera on the end of that, so it just would be the right thing to do. But other than that, that's basically it. Hopefully this video helped you, you know, make your own. I'm going to have a test video because obviously the reason I made this is because I'm going to be making uh, sort of like an FPS, real-life Call of Duty um, video. So that should be pretty fun. That's why I built this, obviously. And then this could be used for any other video, various video game in real life or anything like that. Um, video games in real life. Other than that, that's basically why I made it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I forgot to mention the fact that you look completely ridiculous in this. <laughs> but it gets the job done. Uh, as you can imagine the camera is right here. Um, and it's perfectly at eye level. But, um... Until I have this glued in, I probably won't be putting the camera on because this thing does swivel pretty easily. And I don't want to risk that, obviously, from, you know, my camera. But other than that, it does wield pretty well. You know, you can do a lot of good first person. It really, it like, fits in with your shoulders really well. So, it's a pretty good design just for, you know, putting this thing together out of random PVC. Um, so that's basically it. That's all you need. Okay, actually that's one other thing, that's the only hard part. Make sure you get a helmet that fits your head. This is from 7th grade, so I don't know how many years ago that was, 5 or 6? Six? 6 years ago. <laughs> so make sure you buy a helmet that fits your head. <laughs> so until next time, peace. Alright, so that was the video on how to make the helmet cam and what I basically used to make it and just um, kind of an overview of it. And here's the test footage that I just took today, so feel free to check that out. Um, right now you're looking at the sniper, which is a... Uh, it turned out really good, so I'm really uh, happy with it. So if you guys have any other questions, leave a comment. But until next time, peace.